Okay, I think I know who's speaking to here. It is recording this. Yes, yes. Hi, I'm Damien. And you must be Keith. Keith, nice to meet you. Meet you. How are you? Will. Will, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Thanks. Good. Thanks for coming on today. It's good to finally meet you. Yes. Um, so look, uh, we haven't worked together before, so uh, look, I thought I'd uh, give you some idea about how I like to work. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you a sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'm going to give you a pen. Can I pick a color or do you care? Pick a pen. Oh, and the color. Okay. Pick, pick, pick a pen. And on this sheet of paper, I want you to draw something. I'm going to give you some instructions about what it is I would like you to draw. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I want you to take your pen and I want you to uh, start in the middle of the page with a line going straight down. So start in the middle of the page, the very center. Yep. Draw a straight line down to the very uh, bottom. bottom of the page, correct? Yeah. Done. And then I want you to turn right, so continue with the same line, don't lift your pen, turning right all the way to the edge, and stop. And then I want you to go straight, diagonally through the middle of the page, right up to the top left hand corner. And the left side, from the middle yeah, of the page. So I want you to, so from that spot where you are right oh, now at the bottom, the yes, on the bottom right, I want you to go diagonally up to the centre of the page and right through to the top left. Okay. And stop. And I want you to take a go right to the right hand side of the page. Yes. And then keep going here. Yes, that's it. Keep going up to the straight to the right here. Yeah. And to stop. Me. And then I want you to go uh, diagonally straight through the page back down to the bottom left. Sorry, I missed that. Story. All the way, all the way down to the bottom left. So from that point at the top right, take your pen and draw all the way down to the bottom left. Have something like this. Okay. And then I want you to draw three semicircles back to the middle of the page. Semicircles. Three something semi like from the bottom of the page. So where you stopped. Oh, from three middle. semicircles. Back to the middle of the page. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And stop. Okay. I might just show the camera what I've drawn. Okay. It's meant to be up there. Now it will. Let's see what you've drawn. Okay. And Kit, let's see what you've drawn. Okay. What do we get? Different results. Different results. And one thing I learned from that is that you're quite good at asking and checking with me. And that's what I would like you guys to do frequently for the next however long we're working together, is to tell me if I'm going wrong or if I'm not clear. And similarly, I will tell you guys, I'm not clear about what it is you want from me, mm -hmm. how this is looking. I think um, it works better when we talk. When, we, when I say something and you listen and you ask again, okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So look, that's how I want to try and make this work out together, okay? Yeah. So look, at, let's have a look at what we've got in terms of the um, uh, brief that you guys sent to me. Yes. Um, oh, there. Back there. Yeah. I thought we'd just um, familiarise myself again with what you guys are about. Um, so I'm clear. So, Sydney Eco Trends. In two sentences or less, what do you think you guys are about? Um, we are passionate about um, the sustainable transport system, mm -hmm. and um, because we were engaged by um, <laughs> transit. Transit. Yeah. yeah. We were engaged by transit. So. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to engage you to um, do some data to analysis. make your case. Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, meeting our missions and objectives. Yeah. So um, we 
passionate about sustainability, mm -hmm. about the transport system, and um, we um, concern our citizens and the diversity of the society. So we're hoping that the new train system um, will be something that um, focusing on the people mm -hmm. and the diversity and the system. Okay. Yeah. So people, diversity. Sustainability is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Do you anything else? Uh, I'm just keeping a little bit simple. Uh, our mission is bringing, bringing quality of life to Sydney and okay. uh, preserve its environment. Environment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, um, yes. That's the other thing I like people to do is to keep a hold of a pen. Um, sometimes keep hold. Of, keep hold of it. <laughs> Because um, if I do all the pen holding, that means I do all the controlling, and I'd rather not, okay? So I'd like you guys to, if something comes to mind, you want to write it down, go ahead and write it down, for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Um, I'd like to, I think, yeah, look, that sort of confirms what I had, had thought you guys were about. Um, can we just recap on what the data sources we have to hand are, and then I can give you some ideas about what I thought might be useful. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so the travel car data, that's about journey times and dates and mode of transport. Um, so that's you know, buses, ferries, trains. So that's page two Sorry. of your... Of the, uh, page two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's the train. Yeah, so that's, um, that's logs of who travelled where, on what transport, what times, for how long, etc, etc. Um, then we've got uh, the most common train journeys um, by demographic profile. So for the last uh, two decades, that's a lot of data. Uh, so uh, we've got road traffic accidents, slightly different. It's not about how people got there, but what happened along the way and adverse outcomes, I suppose. Uh, road usage from motorway sensors in the last 20 years. Uh, Driverless car vehicle cars, now that we're in the year 2020, uh, we've seen a, a sort of handful of driverless cars I saw one yesterday morning. I don't know if you guys have seen any of them, but they are starting to appear more and more. Um, Can I tell you a few Yes, yes. Yeah, so one of our missions is to reduce the number of uh, automatic cars. So we have some data that proves that automatic cars are not to the car. The citizens are not ready for mm. this. Yes. Is it travelers' cars. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So maybe yeah, Sorry, the example. benefits. Yeah. No. 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 The benefits maybe are overstated. Uh, yes. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, we don't know yet this yeah. exactly what the problem is, but maybe there's not time for a driverless car. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they need to. Maybe the manufacturers need to improve the technology or uh, somehow. The government needs to improve the city to make the city ready for a driverless car. What do you think? Um, I think we have lots of data available, mm -hmm. but um, I think the main reason that you are here is to tell us what's useful and what's not useful. Yeah. And um, we want to hear from you. Yeah, yeah basically. It's okay. Um, one of the things that uh, you guys, when you've written your brief, was about an interactive visualization tool. Yes. So I've had a few thoughts about that. Um, so one of the first things that I'll probably um, write it down for you guys is about uh, road usage. Um, so uh, imagine this is a, a map of Sydney. Yes. Okay. Um, along here we have uh, main thoroughfares. So here we're going to have uh, Parramatta Road, um, uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge, and George Street, Brown Town Hall, um, then we have uh, Anzac Parade, etc. etc. Um, the Anzac Bridge, we'll have this way. Yeah, uh, City West Lincoln. Okay, imagine these here. And what I'm imagining is that uh, this interactive tool could let you play over time how. Um, the volume of traffic along these main thoroughfares into the city centre has you know, increased over time. Mm -hmm. um, 
So imagine there's a little play button here, perhaps, something like that, or over here. And it has, I think we've got rose usage, yeah, from the year 2000 to the most recent, 2019. And I can imagine that people can slide their finger across here and move this to how it's increased. And this is either getting more congested mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. William, yes. yes. I'm glad you're using a different colour yes. because I wanted to. I think red means problem. Problems. Issues. Correct. Yeah. Correct. In other, in other hand, you may have some moments with no traffic, you know, yes. which may indicate some yes. issues as well. Yes. Because if you have too much traffic here, no traffic at all here, it, mm -hmm. it means you have some issues on that point. I think. Um, I, I've been. Depends on what you are, what, what, what it is you want to argue more of, but I'm thinking that it's um, we want to show peak hour times, yes. uh, maybe and weekends as well. Sometimes you have uh, to uh, exaggerate, oh, oh, not exaggerate, but to really play up to to show mm -hmm. you the corners and yes, this makes yeah. sense. Uh, some, sometimes um, we can identify like bot bottlenecks mm -hmm. using those. The other thing I'm thinking of as well is that um, we have some, uh, I think as well, maybe not already available, but I think it would be interesting to have some sort of marker of um, environmental pollution, so be that noise pollution or more probably uh, to do with air quality and how it sort of uh, gets worse around certain areas, smog and etc, etc. I suppose the um, sort of big picture biodiversity of Sydney has changed over the years with uh, either poor or less poor air quality. We'll assume that it's getting worse. But in terms of visualisation, yes. and because it's pollution, how are you going to represent that visually? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it might be worth what, what's it like to look through clouds of, of smog and um, looking at um, the other thing I was thinking about as well is um, Sydney skyline in terms of um, pollution mm -hmm. so um, sometimes you travel across um, the Glazeville Bridge, I don't know if you know it it's in Drummond. Okay, there's a huge view of the city on the way over this bridge and from time to time so here's um, there's the upper, you know, the oh, upper no, houses there, or whatever. Okay. 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 Along here, from time to time, is quite cloudy, quite smoky. Mm -hmm. It's probably more to do with bushfires and what have you, but I think it also can be exaggerated, you know, or, or contributed to by uh, traffic. So I think imagining a timeline as well to see when it's getting worse, you know, at different times of the year and uh, different times of the day. Of the day, yes, quite. Yes. So I think if we can um, have some sort of way of showing that uh, and and here as well at parts per million uh, per uh, million uh, um, particles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it's uh, here is zero up to higher levels, and it's some sort of grading for low to um, mid to high. And as the day goes on, or as time goes on, mm -hmm. then this seems to be going up and down. Okay, um, so I think this could be a good tool. I still think we need to talk about as well is the stakeholders. So who do you want to see this data? So I, I think how do you guys see yourselves using whatever visualizations we come up with? Okay, I think the main user will be us. Yes. Um, for us to present to transit. Okay. Um, what okay. kind of view the uh, the West yeah. Sydney yeah. to that? Uh, Chunky value will be yeah yeah and um, and secondly it will be the public right. okay we okay from your website or are you thinking through apps or how big is the interface do you think that's going to be uh, drive this do you reckon it's you know such a bit more democratic mm -hmm. however we would like to have also some options for reports um, 
a little bit more detailed reports just for our uh, mm -hmm. um, for our documentation. Well, maybe for the for the public mm -hmm. website and I don't know maybe publications on um, magazines or newspapers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the yeah. point. I'm imagining this being used in briefing meetings, be it to your your sort of your 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 members, the members yeah. of your your, your local. Group. Yep. And also then feeding up into meetings of transit and other sort of transport groups. Um, so I can imagine this being um, a PowerPoint or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's, can be viewed on a large screen and, and the impact it can be uh, can be shown. I think it might be lost on a smaller screen. So I think for visualizations on a smaller screen, so for the general public, I'd be keen to just. Um, uh, use not so much photographs, um, maybe some of the map work, not so many photos, maybe um, uh, just large icons and uh, how the number grows as you slide it along mm -hmm. and you fold or something like that, okay? So I would move away from photos in that instance. Uh, I think anyway, but well, you know. <laughs> no, right. One last question for you. How we measure noisy? Mm -hmm. And how can we project and how can we show noise levels in the mm -hmm. city? Do you have yeah. any idea about that? Um, look, um, I don't think you have much information about noise, but yeah. if you have an idea, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look, uh, something I can talk to other people about that have worked on um, the impact of uh, Sydney Airport uh, development, uh, mascot, there was consultations with local residents and monitoring of noise levels. You know, increased volumes of plane traffic. Mm -hmm. So I think that technology, you know, and those sensors were available. Um, whether they've been used to monitor road traffic or not is something to consider. But I think if we can um, can have a look at that, that would be great. Yeah, for sure. How to visualize that? Um, yeah. It's a good, good question because we have the entire city and have different levels of noise. In different times of the day, mm -hmm. um, in India. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe. I suppose it's taken into past visualization as to what is the sound of traffic is like versus the sound of trains. Yeah. And um, particularly trams are almost silent, whereas I think um, that might be an interesting visualization. Actually, is a video of George Street, let's say, mm. prior to you know prior to the, the trams going in, so the traffic noise and uh, I can imagine a, a video camera um, picturing George Street in its peak hour with the noise and all the rest of it going around it and then as the trams go down I can imagine the volume being reduced mm -hmm. um, I can... Um, you guys video? Yes. Just make sure that you are capturing any representation yeah. stuff. I'll there. come back to this. Yeah. Yeah. Sure yeah. 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 Um, so I, I think that might be uh, uh, before and after. Uh, I think that might be a good, uh, good thing to, to do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, something really interesting to know. I, yeah. I don't remember if I've seen any representation of noise before, mm -hmm. like in, in maps or yeah. graphics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a good yeah, and I think the measurement of sustainability is something that people don't normally report on. Well, I it's just think yeah. it's is even more abstract. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think about that as well. So, it, it, I think you take one car off the road. Yeah. What could that do? What would that look like? Like how many? How many trees would be saved or something like that? You yeah. know what I mean? I. I how many, how many so many, many particles per million of uh, CO2 would be reduced from concentrations in the Sydney mm -hmm. atmosphere. So if, car, if one car was removed, if 10 cars were removed, if 100 cars were removed. So similarly, using this scale, what if me and my friend and, you know, seven people from my circle of friends stopped driving to work four days a week or 10 days a month? You know, what would that look like? What effect would that have on uh, pollution and uh, things like that? Um, I think, uh, so that, yeah, so I'd like to, 
think a bit more about mm -hmm. how to visualise sound, if that makes sense, how to picture of sound. Yes. It's tricky. I think that's a great challenge. Thank you. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Yeah. But I really like this visualisation also in terms of the noise and sound. Mm -hmm. I think if you probably can do a scale like this yes. and the ambition level reduce from time to time, yeah. I think that would be excellent. Yeah. I really like this. Like if we can, mm -hmm. if you can make an interactive tool. Yeah. So you could even pick noise, pick volume of tra traffic, yeah. put, or, or, or pick your parts per million in terms of pollution, congestion, you know, or, uh, air, air quality as it goes up or down. You know, and you can move that across time. So you can pick um, some of the issues. So, um, so here's what we've come up to so, so far. Yeah. yeah. Here's what we've come up to so far. This is a map that we're coming up with, okay? Um, <coughs> I need to video that again towards the end. But I'm imagining um, some pictures. So your 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 um, interactive tool that you're going to use in your presentations with your stakeholders, like with your local representatives and then trans SID. I'm imagining that um, there will be a large screen here, and on this you can have a tab here for air quality, for um, noise, for uh, congestion, or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can click on that, and then work across um, time. So start. What have we got? We got 2000 is our start year, yes, and 2019. Yep. Okay. So that would give you guys pick the air quality, and here is your let's say map of Sydney. Or whomever, whatever sort of area, Parramatta or Sydney CBD. Uh, imagining that you, get with your mouse, click on this icon, and here we're going to have a look at the air quality. Okay. That's good. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Um, and here you can slide along how it's increased or decreased. Um, the other thing about biodiversity, it would be good to try and capture some data on. Oh, uh, numbers of insects, uh, and, uh, birds, um, that type of stuff. Yeah. So how that has changed in other Sydney. This is a little bit more specific mm -hmm. when you talk to other um, institutes. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can get this get information, some, but it's can, easy to get. Yeah. Take a little bit of time. Look, if you can get me some of that data or put me in touch with someone who you think can get that data, then we can work that out uh, over time. Okay. That would be good, I think. Um, yeah, so um, look, the other thing I haven't asked, how, uh, how good are you guys with computers and how comfortable are you with visualisation and presenting and stuff like that? Like, um, yeah, I think this is something new in our team yes. and um, well, everything is new, so yeah. like, that's why you're engaged. Yeah. Um, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> uh, like touching the things, changing good, visualization, good, 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 good. like stuff, okay. like pause, yeah, yeah. test everything. Yeah. It's exciting for me. So, so thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and I'll take a snap of this as well. Shouldn't we? I have to take a picture of this. Where am I? Just turn this camera around. Um, yeah, take a picture. Good idea. Oh, they've sent some messages. I didn't see messages. 